let's look at negotiations. Negotiations, you know, academics and, you know, like to, to try and complicate matters. Um, it's very simple. Parties engaging for mutual benefit. You engage, you have something to offer, something, somebody wants to help you, you engage, you reach an agreement. When you reach an agreement, then you can go on to do the contract. I always maintain that if you try and negotiate with your wife, you stand a chance of having a long-term relationship. But if you bargain, the door, the door locks will be changed after two weeks. <laughs> because bargainers tend to want things cheap. And <laughs> These CEOs obviously have uh, highlighted that Africa, we do bargain, we don't negotiate. Before I go on to the negotiation, I want to share with you quickly some of the population uh, uh, sample that took part. These were very big executives colleagues. Um, some of the companies that they, they obviously controlled has um, revenues in, in excess of 400 billion. There isn't a lot of companies in the world with revenues of 400 billion colleagues. And some of these companies' GDP is much, much bigger than, <laughs> and revenues is much, much bigger than the GDP of most African countries. So when they obviously say something, you've got to listen. I decided to focus on these up to 100 companies because I knew their procurement spend. And in terms of biasness and objectivity, I used independent supply chain directors to select the companies from the Fortune 1000 companies. In terms, of, um, in terms of Africa, there was a random selection of state-owned entities, including some in South Africa, Nigeria, Ghana, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania. And then government departments, um, I used my network to get in touch with some of these chief directors, or as you call them in South Africa, director generals, to participate. So what they are saying is quite significant. And uh, in fact, some of the, the, the findings uh, are already being implemented in the parts of Africa. The sectors that took part um, included uh, manufacturing, uh, mining and resources services, food and beverage. Um, government sector obviously was very big. The agro-processing and then the logistics and supply chain management. Um, the subsectors, you had the chemical, which is obviously an oil big in Africa, uh, pharmaceuticals, consulting services, healthcare, education, and ICT. And the logistics companies were they cut across, and some of the biggest in the world were involved. The supply chain directors were involved. The profiles of the people, like I mentioned earlier, that took part were CEOs chief uh, financial officers, chief operating officers, and then the, there were other people which uh, I will give the, you the breakdown. You got technical directors, um, you had uh, chief legal officers, logistics directors, chief procurement officers, manufacturing directors, um, and then project managers to name but a few who took part in the study. So these are very high powered Population sample that too bad in the study over five years. Audio jungle.